We are here in the Still Life Academy website in the Cinema 4D CGI Whiskey Masterclass group chat. And Greg has posted a question for us. And Greg is having some issues trying to unwrap UVs in Cinema 4D having built the bottle. And he said, I've tried to unwrap my UVs, but I guess my model is not right. It shows an error message. Is there any quick fix for that? Or do I have to rebuild the model again? And he's been very kind to provide us with a couple of screenshots to show what might be happening. So here's the error. It says, relax UV error. An edge is shared by more than two polygons. Okay, so let's pop into a file that's very kindly been provided to us. So uh, an edge is being shared by more than two polygons. So this is the glass, outer and inner combined. And we are looking around and his screenshot showed the neck area. So we're looking here and everything looks to be spot on. Greg's done a really great job there modeling that. So let's just go in G to see if the wireframe shows up anything. Right, now here is our outer glass wall and our inner, and it looks as if we have some extraneous polygons appearing between the two. So as you've noticed, the more I zoom in, the more it disappears and becomes elusive. So what do we do? How do we get in there? If we click on our object, come down to the coords, in the panel in the attributes manager. These middle ones are for the scale of the object. So if we make it 10 times bigger, this doesn't alter the mesh at all. It just alters the scale of it. Now, when we zoom in, we have the chance of getting closer and getting hold of these things. So we're going to go back to our grad shading mode, which is N C. I'm going to go to polygon mode, live selection, and rather than just selecting each face individually, we are going to loop select them, which is U and L. You can see that it's gone for the outer wall, which means we're not far enough in. There we go. Didn't take much. And we're going to shift and click all four of those extra rows of polygons that are not showing when you are outside the bottle. And we're just going to delete or backspace to get rid of them. So the problem where was, we'll just go back one step, this edge at the top, the error was absolutely right. It's being shared by this top polygon, this inner wall one, and then this extra one that's coming down here. And Cinema really only can handle uh, an edge being shared by two polygons, which is exactly how it should be. Um, there's no way really it should be coming out of there if you wanted to build really nice clean mesh. So we've got rid of those and now of course we need to remember to take the scale of our bottle back to 111 and hit the O key to bring it back up. Okay so now we've got rid of that, how do we unwrap our UVs? So the edge selection has already be, been very kindly made for us as well, whereby we are trying to split the bottle up into sections that can then be sort of flatly laid out. Imagine uh, a pair of jeans has uh, kind of like a pattern guide that people cut pieces of fabric from, and those pieces of fabric are flat, but they essentially make up a 3D pair of jeans that you wear. So this is what we're trying to do with the bottle, we're creating seams with our edge selection, whereby when it unwraps, we then have a nice pattern that we can lay our graphics onto. That is it in a nutshell. So all of these have been very clear, carefully planned out. So you have a front and a back of the bottle. You have this disc at the bottom, whereby you can lay on your lugs, as I call them, and any type that sometimes appears on the bottom of a bottle. You can also put your size of the bottle and some of those little uh, those kind of dot things that appear on the glass. The neck again is split into two as well. Then we have a flat disc at the top so that that can easily be laid out and split 
into these panels. And the same thing is required inside as well. So you have a disc for the inner and two portions there so that when you are laying the graphics out, you know which is the inner and which is the outer. So now we have that. We need to delete the UV map that originally came with the cylinders to start off with because we made so many extra connects and move things around that that is no longer applicable. So we are on the object, we've got rid of our UV map, we have our edge selection made, we now go to BP, UV, edit. And from here, your whole desktop arrangement changes. And what we are now seeing is all the tools needed to unwrap the UVs. And we're really only concerned with these two. So the first one, set UVW from projection, click on the cogwheel and change from flat to frontal. And up comes a bottle here. Not much happening at the moment, but if you do UV unwrap, we now have our pattern design that we can lay graphics on. Now, if we go back a step, it does matter how you position the bottle. Because in certain instances when you UV unwrap, which I can't replicate it seems, you will get what's known as overlapping islands of mesh. Now also, every time it unwraps, depending on the position of the bottle, these will change position. So from the course, when you're looking at the video, the configuration of these may be different to what you're getting. Don't worry about that. It's just the way that it will handle from whatever angle it is. So because of the variances involved, you will end up with a slightly different result. So I'm not managing to get overlapping islands and mesh, but if you did, you would come down to the UV packing, click on geometric, leave everything else as is and hit apply. And that will now respace everything out. So everything is on its own island. Now this has created a UV tag onto the bottle, which is what we wanted. But how do we actually get our texture to be used? So first of all, we're going to do file new texture. And we're going to create this one at 5000 pixels square, which is pretty much your entry point level for doing a displacement map, which is what this one's going to be used for for bottles. And the reason we don't really go much higher than that, you can go all the way up to 10,000 pixels square, is because we are going to blur ever so slightly those graphics because that's what the displacement likes. Had we needed pin sharp, we would probably go for something like 8,000, maybe 9,000, but 5,000 square is absolutely fine. Now down here, we are seeing almost like a Photoshop file with our layers in. If you cannot see that, you're probably on layer manager expanded or compact which is the default so you would need to go to view layer manager active texture and now you can see more of what's going on now at the moment we literally just have a gray background and we have no mesh on top which is going to be no use to us because we don't know where anything is so if you go to layer create uv mesh layer what this does is create a very nice transparent grid of all of these edges and polygon shapes for us. We then do File, Save Texture As, and we want a PSD because we want to be able to turn that UV mesh layer on and off. We are just going to save this to our desktop. So this is Bottle UV Unwrap Test. And if we quickly go to Photoshop to just see what that is now looking like. If we now come to our Photoshop file, you can see that we have a lovely 5000 pixel square file with this lovely transparent UV mesh layer that we can turn on and off and we can place graphics onto it. Now you're going to say, well, how do I know which one of these is the inner for the glass? which one's the outer, and same with the bottom for the lugs. So if we come back to cinema, 
you have two options. You can either go to the polygon tool and with our live selection one on, you can just draw onto it and you will see the corresponding faces appear. Now that one is, is coming from the inside, which we can just see there. This is on the inside as well. So these two at the bottom, or you can go the other way. And if I have only select visible elements on, just brush on the bottle and you can see exactly which ones are which. So it's looking like these two bottom ones are for the outer and underneath this larger disc, which is what you would expect, is for the outer. There is one other nice way of having a look and under texture, you can bring up a thing called UV map, which is basically giving us nice colors and numbers just to correspond to where things are at. So we're looking here and we have an H, H8 and an I8. And that is telling us that that is on the outer. And the inners are looking like the pinks and the orange. So that's just another quick way of doing it. Don't worry about the distortion on it. It's just a manner of a grid just to help you out there. So you can have an empty canvas or the texture that we've created with a UV mesh layer or that UV map one. So whichever way you want to do it, when you want to do it through the polygons and selecting, you have many options to help you when you come back to Photoshop for laying your graphics out. Okay, thank you.